There definitely was some buzz around the first Twilight movie, just just industry buzz, um, because everybody knew it was based on a, a what was at the time a fairly popular series of books. So then you think, okay, well we could potentially make there's four books here. We could make four movies. Um, so it was a good thing to like get in on. It's something that everybody was trying to get in on. And then once I got the part and we got on set, I remember the first day on set, we were at a high school and there were students at the high school. I, 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 don't, I don't know if they were in class that day or not, but anyway, there were students that were taking videos of us on set. Um, and then those videos ended up online with like 50,000 views that night. So I'm going, okay. This, this might be something that, that people are going to be into. Footage of the just set. footage of us hanging out on set. Um, that's it. And uh, man, and then I remember like it, there was another time where I was just like, just like chilling with Kristen and we were just talking and like th there was like a barricade of people and, and there was just footage of us and you can barely make out, you can sort of make out that it's the two of us, but not really. It's like 200,000 views. I mean, it was, it, it was insane. Um, so no, I didn't anticipate that it was going to blow up into what it eventually became, but I had a feeling it was probably going to be pretty popular. It, it was it was pretty wild, man. I mean, it was it was surreal, um, and I actually think I had a good sort of place in it. You know what I mean? Because I was I was in all the movies, but I wasn't really that important. Like Mike Newton is not pivotal to the storyline, but he's always just kind of there. Um, so it's nice. So I got to experience a lot of like you know, that whole experience, that the sort of rock star thing, <laughs> but at the same time, maybe without a lot of the nonsense uh, that some of the leads had to go through, you know? Um, so, I mean, now I feel like now I'd be more ready for it, you know, but at the time it was just, it was such a whirlwind. It was such a tornado. <sighs> it it would have been, it would have been wild. Um, it would, it would have been a little weird to take on more than that, I think, but I mean, awesome to be a part of. I, I loved the role. Um, I loved the fan base. I mean, for two years, I went around the country doing, and around the world, actually, doing Twilight conventions and getting to, like, hang out with the fans and stuff. I, it, was, it, it was cool, man. It was, it was quite an experience. And then it led to other things, like, you know, um, a, a USO tour and uh, in, to Germany and um, a trip to Paris. And, and, like, and then ultimately, you know, through the charity I was working with, like the exposure from Twilight, allowed me to do things with that charity that I, I don't think I ever would have been able to do. Um, so all around, I, I, overwhelmingly positive experience. Um, it was five years of my life, and um, it's something that, you know, is, is gonna come with me for the rest of my life, man. I mean, I, you know, honestly, like that, Twilight really is kind of the foundation on which I, I build the rest of my career, so I'm, I'm super grateful for it.